In this module, we will discuss the second type of adjusting entry, the adjusting entry that converts liabilities into revenues. Recall from module 4.1 that the second adjusting entry involves a debit to a liability account and a credit to a revenue account. The unearned revenue liability balance sheet account is a common example of how the accounts that require this type of adjusting entry at the end of the accounting period. When firms receive cash before the earnings process is complete, they have not earned the revenue yet, and they are required to record a liability until the earnings process is complete. As the earnings process is completed, i.e. they deliver the service, the goods, or perform the service, that they agreed to, they are then allowed to record the earned revenue and reduce their liability account balance through an adjusting entry. We will now discuss two types of these adjusting entries. Specifically, rent received at the beginning of a rental term and subscription payments received in advance of firms sending magazines to subscribers. Let's start with rent revenue received in advance. If a firm receives rental payments at or before the beginning of the rental term, then they must establish a liability account for the full amount of the rental payments received. They call this liability unearned rent revenue. And as time goes by and the rent is earned, they can record rent revenue and reduce the amount of unearned revenue liability through adjusting entries at the reporting dates. Consider the following example. If ABC rents an office building to XYZ on July 1st, 2008 for $48,000 and the rental agreement is for two years and XYZ pays the entire $48,000 on July 1st, 2008, because none of the rental term has passed at the time the $48,000 is received, ABC Inc. is required to record the entire amount in a liability account that they might call unearned rent revenue. This account represents revenue that they will earn at some point but if they receive the money up front, they still haven't earned it yet. So they're not able to actually book it as revenue until they've actually earned it. If they prepare for an annual financial statements on December 31st each year, then they would want to determine how much of the rent revenue they have earned by the end of December and record that amount in the current year. Likewise, they would also want to reduce the balance of the unearned rent revenue account as well to show that they do not owe the $48,000 worth of rent anymore. They own, they owe a smaller portion of that amount that they haven't yet earned. They calculate the amount that they've earned by taking the rental amount and dividing it by the term, in this case $48,000 divided by the two years, to determine the annual rent revenue. In this case, the annual rent revenue would be $24,000. But since they want to determine how much rent revenue was earned in the current year, they need to multiply that by 6 over 12 because it's only half of a year's worth of rent that they would have earned. Remember, this rental agreement was engaged in on July 1st, 2008, so they've only earned one half a year's worth of rent. Consequently, the adjusting entry on December 31st would be a debit to unearned rent revenue of 12000 half of the 24000 annual, and a credit to rent revenue of 12000 this adjusting entry records the $12,000 of rent revenue that ABC Inc. earned in 2008 and also reduces the unearned rent revenue liability account to reflect that ABC Inc. only owes $36,000 of rent services in the future as of December 31, 2008. If we continue with this example through 2009, we'll see that in 2009, the entire year's worth of rent would have been earned from the beginning of 2009 to the end of 2009. So in this case, the adjusting entry at the end of 2009 would actually be for the full $24,000, the, the annual uh, rental uh, revenue. So for this one, you can take the $48,000 total amount divided by two, to, since it's a two-year rental agreement, and multiply it by 12 over 12 or just one year, and you end up with $24,000. So the adjusting entry in this case would be a debit to under rent revenue for $24,000 and a credit to rent revenue for $24,000. This adjusting entry reduces the unearned rent revenue account to $12,000, which is 
the six months that are still remaining on the rental term that you still owe uh, the other company. A second type of example of this type of adjusting entry is when you have subscription revenue, specifically when you receive subscription uh, revenue in advance of sending out subscriptions. Similar to rent received in, in advance, if a firm receives subscription payments at or before the beginning of when they start sending out magazines, then they must establish a liability account for the full amount of the subscription payments received. They call this liability unearned subscription revenue. Then as time goes by and the subscription revenue is earned, they can record subscription revenue and reduce the amount of the unearned subscription revenue liability through an adjusting entry at each reporting date. Consider the following example. ABC Inc. sells $36,000 worth of monthly magazine subscriptions in April of 2008, and each subscription entitles the subscriber to 12 monthly magazines beginning in May of 2008. Because none of the magazines have been sent when the subscription revenue is received, ABC Inc. is required to record the entire $36,000 in a liability account that they might call unearned subscription revenue. If they prepare annual financial statements on December 31st each year, then they would want to determine how much of that subscription revenue that was received in April have they earned by the end of December and record that amount in current year's income. Likewise, they would also want to reduce the balance of the unearned subscription revenue account as well to show that they do not still owe the full $36,000 worth of subscriptions anymore. To calculate the amount earned, they take the subscription amount and multiply it by the proportion of the annual subscriptions they have sent out by the end of the year. In this case, eight months out of the 12 months. Consequently, the adjusting entry on December 31st would be a debit to unearned subscription revenue of $24,000 and a credit to subscription revenue of $24,000. This adjusting entry records the $24,000 of subscription revenue that ABC earned in 2008 and also reduces unearned subscription revenue liability account to reflect that ABC only owes $12,000 of magazines to their subscribers as of December 31st, 2008. As you can see, in both of the, this example and the previous example, the adjusting entry allowed us to convert a liability into a revenue account at the reporting date.